Okay, that I gotta see. You have to send a picture of that. I think I did already. It's in... No, no, you just sent a picture of like a hundred. It's in general. Oh, oh yeah, you did. Yeah, the server's up if you're interested in joining. Am I the only one here who has a mechanical, mechanical keyboard? Uh, I've got some kind of mechanical keyboard. I don't know how how legit it is, though. I have a gaming it's keyboard. Loud. Again, it is a Razor. It's Mine's like also Razor. razor. I have a Logitech keyboard, but before that I just had a generic gel, um, Dell keyboard. So why do we have all these moving boxes? Um, it's a long story. I don't know if I want to get into it. Torch it if you can. Torch them? Yeah, just burn them. Why? I don't think anybody's moved any of the um, equipment, the items, the structures in quite some time, so it's not necessary anymore. I mean, what if I want to move every single sign? You might have to craft a new one then. I don't know if anyone's getting it, but I hear a really bad echo. I'm just waiting for Raising Hell to say I'm a Raising Guy. Beat me to it. I should have thought of that. Most of my peripherals are Logitech, so. Do you need any of them? Because if you leave them on the farms, they'll never go to waste and never spoil. Same password? Same password, yeah. Well, it will be the same password until it becomes too well known, and then I have to change it. <laughs> oh, Well, you could make a bat I am, bat. I am Wigfred. If you have enough of the wings, it's possible. I think it's about six. Five? Five? Okay. I mean, I'm, I've just reassembled it. I can get the heart and reanimate it. Jelly beans? What? Uh, they're good for health. Yeah, we killed the bee queen a few times, so. Oh. Uh, are you guys in need of helmets? Need flint, just golden stone. 
It's one of the great perks to being Wigfred. You can carry so much armor with you. Ow! Oh! Ow! I didn't know they could get me through the wall. Yeah. Bunnies? Bunny troubles? I have to preserve them. Well, this one's just out. This one you could cook with ham bats. Like to refuel them, Wait. but they do less damage. Did you say the ham bat was in a bundle, like in bundling wrap, or what? Yeah, the ham bat was in bundling wrap. Okay, the ones that are in bundling wrap, I bundled them so that way they don't spoil. one random beefalo here. I think all of the, their herd mates were killed. Okay. Don't worry, I won't touch it. You have the shadow atrium. Oh, it's that one. Yeah. Yesterday and the day before, Liam and Josh were taming it. So, don't hit it or they'll be unhappy. I spent a lot of time on it. Well, this was unexpected. Yeah, you could. Sounds like a plan. I do my best hunting at night. As I, I told them to. As I told them to. Oh, was that you in there? Yeah. had it tamed at the end of yesterday, but probably lost some over the night. Oh yeah, I'll do it. Bunny, your time has come. No, 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 bunny, bunny, die. Probably. You could always go into the caves if you can't handle the frogs. You know what they say, if you can't hog handle the frogs, stay in the caves. Wait, nobody says that. <laughs> Thank goodness for non-conductive clothing. Oh, they will hit that beef floor now, won't they? Alright, they're after the bees. The bees are after them. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, yeah. Very nice.
poor frogs. Oh, I accidentally hit a bee. Oh dear. Okay, they have a shorter attention span. Somebody wrapped up three frog legs? Oh, that is strange. Are you going crazy yet? All the free frog legs, though. Are you picking them up? Yeah, I'm also trying to get uh, honey because all the bees are distracted. Oh yeah. Oh no. The frog is one. Ow, this bee followed me all the way. Ow. He's a lightning rod. I am a walking lightning rod. I just wanted a rock. You don't need to attack me. Sheesh. I don't have a thermal stone. Are you uh, overly drenched? Yeah. Am I am I overly drenched? Yeah, I'm freezing. Oh, okay. Uh, there should be like an umbrella laying around here. Yeah, this I is the uh, losing battle. Thermal stone. I'm losing flint as I go. Frogs are aggroed on me, I'll lead them away. Sanity foods, hmm. I suppose we have enough honey to make taffy. If you need it. Blue caps aren't as useful for sanity. Mushrooms and green caps are better. Frogs, I need to wear armor. Three honey, or at least. No meat. Falafel. Just the honey in there. I've got lots of honey. Oh, I know why. Yeah, they killed Chester. That's why the jelly beans are laying out here. I need an unlimited source of Frogs are food. Frogs are food, not friends. I'm 
going insane. Okay. You want to know? So a lot of people hate Sword Art Online. There was only one thing in Sword Art Online that pissed me off, and that was when um, what's her face Asuna started wasting those frog legs that they could have fed to the starving players. Just because she thought they were gross. I don't know much about it. Wait, is it a TV show or a game? Uh, it's a show. Okay. Sort of online. Right um, it's an anime. Ah. Uh. There, there was a part. There's a part where they go into what are kind of like these sewers, and they find a bunch of low-level enemies that provide food when you kill them. They're frogs, and it's frog legs. But the girl, who's a horrible character, and I hate her, proceeds to start freaking out and throws them on the ground, wasting them because she thinks they're icky. But they're starving? Uh, there are other players who are starving, not them specifically. Oh. They're the best players. I'm sad to watch TV. And although technically they won't die of starvation in the game, I don't think they will feel the pain. Too. Wait, I thought you said it was a TV show. It's a VR game? It's an anime. Game? It's about a game. It's a TV show about a game. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I've never heard of it before. Put your meatballs here in the refrigerator so I can use the pots. All the whispers are quieting. From the insanity? Yeah. I was at zero and my rain meter or whatever was at 100. I mean, mine is 66 and I'm fine. That's nice. The insanity scale is based on how, how much sanity you have. I said the rain meter. The rain meter, the water meter, whatever. The wetness meter? I don't. Yeah, what is it called exactly? Is it called wetness? I think okay. It's wetness. We have no, one with no A lot of people use it for things like magiluminescence, I've heard. Okay, why do we have 30 meters? Why? Uh, we cleared out the rooms. So. Go for it. There we go. Yeah. I literally couldn't do that. I went this hell. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I don't go in the cave anymore? This is someone's backpack? Time to burn this. I don't know, it Nothing could be anybody's. It. It's just rotten. Yeah. Here, might as well take the moving boxes. The what? Moving boxes. I think he's saying you should burn the moving boxes as well. What's a moving box? Uh, there are two boxes around here that you can use to move structures around. It's a mod. 
But after the base was built, we really didn't need to move anything again. So they've just been sitting there. Out of curiosity, I'm gonna try burning them. Well, it's only gonna get warmer. Fresh kill pile is freaking huge. In your cat warrior game? Yep. It's warrior cats. I thought it was cat warriors. It's warrior cats. Huh. I suppose the inverse doesn't sound as cool. You're right, it doesn't. <laughs> Do you guys need ash? Uh, ash? Why? It's just... what? Oh. Uh, it's just what happens to be in this... Uh, yeah, yeah. Street side warfare. I don't have an ego. I have ego. Oh. Everyone has an ego. Especially if you believe in Freud. But Freud was roundly discredited. Yeah. There's a hidden bunny trap. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm whoa. It's like whoa, ho, ho! It's magic. People make typos. Do we make what? She said we didn't make typos. Ah. Is this intended to be a hole right here? Probably. Even though there's a gate, which renders well, this hole renders the gate. Unless. Talking about the hole that goes down into the caves. No, no, no. Uh, into the grass area. Oh yeah, that. Right here. That wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> Do you mind if I tune this meat up again? It's not mine. Either. Is it PSI's? <laughs> I'm speed after this. Bunny, get back here. I'm crying out loud. I want to kill you. And wear your skin as a unit dog. Wow, that got really dark. I will wear your skin. What is wrong with you, man? It's a reference to a movie. Sure it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's from Tropical Thunder. There's a complete another lack of food here. How is there so little meat? I must have missed some. I think I'm gonna go ahead and trade these bunny pups in. Who knocked the chest down? Oh, the chest burned? How did that happen? Uh, I got struck with lightning. 
and you didn't turn the flinger on soon enough? Because I see it's on I, now. Yeah, I, I the hmm. I fixed the uh, fence. There's no gap now. Thank you. Look for you. I gotta make another channel. Yeah, I think you should rebuild it. It'll be a reminder not to do it again. <laughs> this is what you get. Nothing matches now. What was in here? This wood fence that is broken. <laughs> it there's only just a couple of holes. Wait, what was it? Adian, what was it? Um, it was a just a fence with nothing inside of it and a couple of holes. Hmm. Imagine. Oh, I think that was the meat effigy area. Loose lip, the new one. Loose lips sink ships. That's an old one. Are you talking about this area right over here by the uh, life giving amulets? And the meat effigy? Uh, yeah. Okay, that one I was. This hole. There's think... three hammers in one of the rotten backpacks. I think Liam used that for his tall bird or something. His pet tall bird. Three, there are three hammers in one of these backpacks. We need to make another. Uh, in one of the two backpacks. Yes, it's a 50 50. There are hammers in both of them. There you go. That's a 100% chance. Oh god, I'm so slow. What ended up killing Chester out of curiosity? Does anybody know? Was it Before just the bats? Time. A frog? Okay. Are you the one who filled them back up with the Nightmare Fuel PSI? Okay. Who wants to fight claws? Oh, you're a little bit late for that. We're in the spring. Make me five million thirty nine thousand seven hundred twenty six STS books raising. Five million. Did I hear that right? I don't think the game could handle that many. Just too much awesomeness. Stopping by. Sorry, raising. What did you say? Could I, I said thanks for stopping by. No problem. Let me know if you guys need helmets. Okay. I feel like because you've got when you guys uh, when I get on, you guys have like everything done already. Yeah, but now we're just kind of farming bosses, I think. Mm -hmm. Alright, see you guys. Somebody suggested that I live stream the Super Bowl. No thanks. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. 
a good way to get your uh, stuff terminated. And plus it's boring. Yeah, I don't follow football. Most of my family doesn't either, so I guess I'm lucky in that. Watches it half the time. Isn't there only one Super Bowl? You're saying he watches the Super Bowl? Just the half of it? Or are you saying that he watches only half the games that lead up to the Super Bowl? Did you hear about the, the sort of an ad blitz controversy? in regards to Google or YouTube putting up sort of a promotion for the ad blitz. People from other countries didn't know what it was about and they went to Reddit, the YouTube Reddit, uh, sort of wondering what exactly it was because they thought it was malware. Like some sort of toolbar was installed that covered up the YouTube logo, the text, with ad blitz instead. And it turns out it's just good old YouTube. I suppose that's where Grid and Josh are today, huh? Yeah. Why would somebody ever subscribe to you for streaming the Super Bowl? That's like one of the worst reasons I've ever heard. Yeah, you can ask me. Recently read an article that was based on somebody streaming a pro wrestling, a pay-per-view wrestling match. They got shut down pretty hardcore. I think the uh, satellite provider actually went after them because they encode this as sub the subscriber number in the feed, and they can decode that. So in other words, if you upload videos of the match to social media, they can actually decode whose account that was recorded off of. And then they'll go after your account. So yeah, it's just something to keep in mind. Is this game fun? I enjoy it. I think fun is a pretty subjective question. What made you stumble on it, out of curiosity? Is it the only stream on YouTube that isn't about the, foot, uh, the Super Bowl? <laughs> that would be something. You had an in-real-life friend that gifted it to you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, because you get a two-pack when you buy DST. Oh, is it in here? I didn't know that. I haven't heard you say anything. You just buy like those big boxes of popsicles, or what kind of popsicles are yep. they? Yep. I'm totally not getting fat from it. Uh, I get the big boxes of creamsicles. Are they, the, are they the ones that come in like a hundred and they have sleeves on them? Um, not a hundred. I've never seen a box that big, but like, I'd guess twenty in a box. And yeah, they have the sleeves. 
You must uh, buy, buy the smaller ones then. Well, it's the biggest box they have at Walmart. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure where my... Like, it was 10 years ago or so, I think, when my family last had them. Screw it, I'm gonna get another one BRB. Okay. I bet you would have more viewers if the Super Bowl was on. I have no idea what my stream has to do with the Super Bowl, to be honest. It seems pretty weird to even think the two are related. Do face reveal. No thanks. I think I have one picture of myself online total, so... I know it would actually be beneficial, but... It's not something I'm comfortable doing. Are your messages being put up in the live stream too? Yes, you, you, they would be PSI. In the game, through the game. So technically people could read them if they can read Don't Starve Together is terrible font. I don't know why... I don't know why Clay decided to go with that font for the text chat. It's terrible. Oh, this is the last one. Last popsicle? Are you going to get more? Um, not sure. Damn, everybody left me to reset the traps by myself. It's pretty bold. Oh, you are you were in a... I didn't know you were in that bush. I don't know why it didn't occur to me. I just thought I was sitting there for some reason. The talking bush. That must be Moses, huh? Right here is the frog rain. Wow, all the prophecies are coming true. How many more plagues will we have to suffer through? Oh, are you not currently playing? Why would you get mauled by frogs? Oh, because because it's raining frogs. Okay, goodbye, Giovanni and Cleo. It's really interesting, in a way, the number of people who try to give you advice on things that it's questionable that they know any more than you do on. Like, I'm not going to outright say that you, they don't know what they're talking about, but I think the odds are pretty high that I probably know more about this than they do. But then again, I imagine I have different values than a lot of people. So while I would never consider supporting somebody who just restreams the Super Bowl, apparently there are people out there who would. Go figure. When did I start streaming this? Uh, maybe five days ago? You can see the VODs on Twitch if you want. I thought it would... Oh, it still doesn't... Yeah, it's supposed to show up in the chat, uh, in Discord. But for some reason, OBS has not been interfacing correctly with Discord. How long did it take us to make this base? I would say probably 150 days, but we haven't been working on it for a long time, so... It's not that impressive overall. We also have a base in the caves. You're in need of a willow. Really, Liam. Wink, wink. So, Liam, you don't watch the Super Bowl either? Seems like all of my most outgoing participants watch the Super Bowl. Wonder if there's a correlation there. 
do not believe in that religion. Oh. Uh, is there a religion you do believe in in regards to sports? Sports are terrible. But you sports. Sports you would, are but you still don't terrible. Feel like it. Wait, does it what sports sports does that include? How about golf? Is that a sport? Is bowling a sport? These are the existential crap uh, questions we are faced with. Is rowing a sport? Uh, yeah, if you're in like a Harvard school or something. I've never Wait, heard is of it. gaming a sport? Sure, esports, I think it's called. Mu you must be good. No, I'm not that good. Uh, there are people who are better than me at the game. I would say I'm pretty intermediate level. But of course, what makes you better is actually getting out there and playing it. We're still working up to beating the Fuel Weaver in the Shadow Atrium. You know how to kill turkeys? What is the best metric, anyway, to judge relative skill off of? I don't even know. I would say probably your ability to kite enemies without taking damage is a pretty high indicator. Because that actually requires skill. Uh, the rest of it can just be gleaned with knowledge. If you know how the game works, you know, you're going to be good in that regard. But for the actual skill-based stuff, you got to practice a little bit. I'm going to eat this pierogi here. Slowly going insane. Yeah, leg can get you. You have to play on decent servers. <sighs> Should I go and try to wake up the reanimated skeleton and see what we can do with it? Could be interesting. I need a hand bat though. Where did I end up? Oh, it should be here. Shouldn't leave these bundled supplies laying out. I hear typing. Just me and EU at the moment. How Quite many unusual. people are on the server right now? Uh, three. Me, Liam, and PSI. Definitely one of our slower nights, I have to say. Wait, are you correcting my English? How dare you. I'm older than you, mind your superiors. <laughs> no, I actually don't mind that at all. I'd rather be... I'd rather correct my grammatical errors. And then continue to look like a rube. I don't know, did you take a look at Twitch? Is there anybody streaming hey. it? The only problem is I'd have to figure out how Twitch works. They make it pretty easy these days. I mean, if you don't want to tell the bells and whistles. Hello, I'm back. Oh boy. Shady's back. Wow. You gave me a heart attack. Mm. What 
the hell? I don't get how the webs are so out of sync in this game. As I'm far from being on top of the web when I do that. And it still pulls the wires out for some reason. Do you not have any more moving boxes? I just set them on fire and burnt them. We used to. But we don't anymore. Yeah. It's free, so I know that. It's pretty good. Okay, let's screw this. You needed help to figure out how to set up OBS? Yeah, it's a little bit unintuitive, I'll, I'll admit. You're gonna get it now, Spider. Your friends aren't here to back you up. I'm gonna beat you to death with a lantern. No, maybe not. I don't know. Where do you see it? Spider, I said. What? Giovanni was asking me what other games I played, and mostly just Stronghold and... Let's see. Civilization and Stronghold are the other games that I regularly play, but I don't expect anybody to recognize those because they're pretty obscure. So I would say strategy. It's more based around strategy and... Well, real-time strategy and turn-based strategy. Those are the games that I was mostly into. But I also like Survival. I played Seven Days to Die quite a bit. Which is probably a fairly well-known game around here. Should I actually just finish off these spiders? I'm tired of running this for this. I agree. It started out with a raid. How did it end up this bad? That doesn't even rhyme. I was gonna take out the spider den and then queen happened. So, hurry up. Let's see if I can. Oh my god, there's so many spider warriors out here. Okay. Like, look at all these spiders. I mean, it is interesting for a bit of a challenge. Let's see how effectively I can tighten these around the place without getting hit. I should do this more. The problem is, it's really turning on his head. Who's banging? That would be what's his Somebody was banging on the table. I was just wondering what it was about. Yeah, what is that, like beatboxing? With the table? Why? Um, it's distracting? It's noisy? Can you give me two good reasons that you should know? Why do you feel the need to make noise? Wait, do you think that's a like a skill? Is the way you treat that? I'm just thinking here. It's like I want to say a merit. There's a word that I'm thinking of that I can't think of what what it is. It's like the opposite of a vice. What's the opposite of a vice? 
There was a word to describe this, but I forget what it is. Well, first I have to Google what a vice is. It's like a character flaw, right? Oh, a vice. The opposite of a vice. I had the word. A virtue. Yeah, virtue. Okay. So I guess that's the question: is being annoying a virtue? That's what I meant to say. Man, I just okay. really drew it out. Liam? I'm suspecting Liam might be the culprit. Why does it matter? Oh, that's right. It's PSI. It has to be PSI, doesn't it? So one of the things we could do is actually start going through some of these tentacles. Oh, i got to stay away from those bunnies, though. Whew. I have meat on me. Too bad PSP is... PvP is disabled. I mean, we could always re-enable it, I suppose. Or is it like caves, where once you have the server set up, you can only enable it if you start another one? Oh, it's actually an earthquake down here. Okay. Let's try tentacles. I don't know if that needs more context. I'm gonna see where this thing goes. Attack! How am I supposed to get a hidden edge wise here? There's so many of these little things. Okay, I need health. Wait, I got jelly beans. What am I talking about? Why you blue gap? 230. Wait, does the giant tentacle heal? I've never paid attention to this before. I'm looking at it right now and it doesn't. Slowly? Well, hopefully I heal faster then, huh? Oh, it was starving. It was starving. So many bundles. Food, mostly. In my inventory. In my belly. There should be some wax paper. Take a look in the chest with. Vicious. Ninety-eight percent what? Oh. You're seen? Yeah. Oh, it's seen? Okay, let's go. There, you have to have a scene and then you can have sources for the scene. Okay, scene. Okay, I'm making a sign here. What should I say? Go as to... Uh, what, what is that biome called? It's the one with the mud in it. The wilds. Goes to wild bio wilds biome with light bulbs. Light what are, what are those plants called? The ones with the light bulbs. Light flowers. Are they called light flowers? 
the white flowers. I'm using that then. Bye base. I'm disappointed in you. Oh, hooray! It's working! It's picking Why? up the game? What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna start streaming me playing Warrior Cats. Oh, wait, is that advertising? Oops. It's fine. Sorry. Okay. Mostly what I had with against the advertising is a lot of people just come in and dump their stuff here. That is sure. kind of like if, if I know the people who are advertising, we're kind of friends and mm -hmm, it's fine. I don't mind. How do I change it so that the stream is going under a specific tag, like the specific game or something? Uh, I should be in your Twitch dashboard when you're setting it up. There's you can specify what game it is. Probably okay. won't be and an OBS. Have to change that every time? Uh, it should be set, so that way if you play the same game time and time again, it won't be a problem, but otherwise you would, yeah. If, in other words, if you switched games, you'd have to change it, but if you do the same game every day, it'd be fine. Okay. Wow, this tentacle did not go very far. I'm disappointed. But there is a log. At the moment, what I am doing is I'm looking for the atrium. So, I have to explore all these tentacles. For science. Oh, it's not a supported game. It's not showing up? I'm surprised. Wait, have you linked it in the chat, the game? I'm curious to see if I've ever seen uh, it. Hold on, I'll find the website. Oh, it's not on Steam? No. Oh. It's a very old game. I remember playing it when I was like 11. So that was seven years ago, so. Oh, I did not know that. I'll post it in off topic. Thanks. It's really fun, surprisingly. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of good old games out there. I guess that's why there's a site called Good Old Games, huh? Like, graphically, and as, like, graphically, it's really bad. Like, you can tell they used, um, they, you can tell that they used, uh, default graphics that came with the studio or whatever they used. But the gameplay is so well done. I think that definitely, um, definitely is worth it. And so, wait, is it like one of those story-driven games or they just keep using the same models and they turn out? Um, no, it's... It's gameplay-driven. You make your own story. It's a, it's like Don't Starve and that you're surviving. I'll have to um, check it out once. How much does it yeah, cost? It's, it's free. Oh, really? Wow. I mean, uh, if it costs money, I'd probably uh, still buy it, but... <laughs> Okay. I was tempted to get that uh, They Are Billions game because RTS and has zombies in it. I used to play more games and then I dropped the first impressions to focus more on Don't Starve. So I haven't been doing that as much. I wish I could get back to it, but it does take time. Like, I would do first impressions of games that I played. You gotta put like at least four hours into it to really understand, have an idea what the game's about. I would so watch your series if you did like Warrior Cats or Cattails, either one. Cattails cost money though. I could at least do a first impressions on it, I imagine. Is Cattails on Steam or are they both yes. like- Yes. Okay. They're, they're made by the same people, but Cattails is much more recent. Oh. And it has actual custom graphics. Okay, let me check the this out. Play, the gameplay is similar, though. I think the difference is, like, in Captain. Shut up. 
In Cattails, you actually have quests you can complete. Oh yeah, like, Cattails looks like uh, Stardew Valley in terms of yeah, its art style. It is basically Stardew Valley with cats. Uh, by the way, I got another tentacle spot. I guess it's an upside down this dying down there. Is my sacrifice worth it? Did somebody give me berries? I don't remember having these before. Okay. I can use them for pierogies. I just need to go and knock some more bunnies off. Oof. Who are we helloing? I'm busy making a bunch of eight balls so I can go to the Are you gonna help me find the atrium? Feed the carrot. <laughs> well, I mean, most of uh, at the moment, I was just hunting for the portal to get there. And we don't have to actually fight anything yet. Okay, I shouldn't say that. We do have to fight the tentacles. The game can be cool. Oh, it's full moon. Suppose I should go ahead and take care of the oh, not gonna do that. the wear pigs. We have a log in the chest, as it should be. Talk about wacky pathfinding there. Fight the bunny. Fight the bunny. Kill the bunny. Kill all the bunnies. There probably won't be any others out. We really, really need to start building more pig houses for this. Because I this... see it's almost oh. summer. There are rare pigs here. The rare pigs are actually the ones that are knocking this area down. Holy crap. I don't think those ghosts are doing their job fast enough. Oh, they actually got murdered by the... Those are some sad looking ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Rip. So apparently somebody stole our powder cake and now the pigs just knocked the entire thing down when they were aware of pigs. So I'm gonna have to go get that back. What? You can't put wood in freezers. Not the wood, the powder cake. In the freezers. I don't follow. The powder cake's in the freezer? I think that's what he was meant. Oh, okay. Well, I can make that work. I think we already conquered the runes. What are you looking for? 
I'm going to relog. I have so much lag. No problem. Yeah, you're gonna want a few of those. Keep on hopping in the free world there, bunny. Yeah, you can make actual games with that. Like, RPG Maker is a good start, but I feel like Game Maker would really give me Honestly, more Honestly, at this point, I would just advise you go with the Unity. Unity is really easy now. There's a lot of resources to help you learn and stuff. Except that I've already tried to learn with Unity and I failed. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that. Maybe if there was a way to use a game as a base in Unity. You like, can buy I'm assets. Really at, except I don't want to buy assets. Like, I'm, I'm really good at learning from looking at other people's work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think there's some free assets out there as well. Like tutorials and stuff you can pick up. If you see something that you are interested in, you can do that. I have a great idea for a game my friend and I were gonna work on together. I'm always dubious about uh, success that is intrinsically tied into somebody else contributing stuff. Yeah, she ended up moving away and got a job, and since then she hasn't had the time to help me with it, so that's disappointing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, if that is the primary motivator like if you can't do it without the other person helping you it's a great way to set yourself up for failure in a way i guess yeah it is that's why like i've known people who've done group projects that worked out well but there are also people who started out group projects and a member quit or something and then they just abandoned the entire thing because of that it's just i love her art style so much more than mine and she was gonna do the art and uh Hmm. What were you going to do? I was gonna do the coding. Oh. Why, what language do you know? Um, I was gonna use an interface, like, with RPG Maker, but I, I've used it so much that I could probably make something that wouldn't look like RPG Maker. Doesn't RPG Maker use the custom scripting, scripting language? Yeah, Ruby. Oh, Ruby, okay. Well, that's not that custom. <laughs> you can... You can apply Ruby to other areas of... It must be a different engine that I was thinking of that actually their own custom scripting language. The mush like, kush. Even, even if I wasn't gonna do it all myself, there are lots of scripts, like an overworld battle system script, uh script that makes custom lighting which is really beautiful and realistic yeah i mean we are at the point the github point where you can find a lot of the code you need to perform little functions yourself without having to write them which is pretty weird but in the end my game wasn't even gonna have combat it was going to be a Similar to Fire Emblem in that characters will interact with each other and eventually fall in love with each other and get married and have kids that you can use. But it was going to be more like a strategy where you run a sandwich shop. So it's almost like a dynasty kind of simulator thing. Except that the kids would be alive at the same time as their parents. And in Fire Emblem, the excuse is time travel. The kids came from the future. And okay. my idea was basically um, growth hormones in fast food have caused rapid aging in the youngest generation. Well, I mean, you can have two generations of uh, family alive at the same time, three generations alive at the same time quite easily. Or you wanted them all to be relatively the same age or what? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Wait, this could go in a bad direction. <laughs> Why do they need no, to No, no, there alive? wouldn't there there wouldn't be any like second generation wouldn't be able to marry first generation. Is that the only restriction? Yeah. Mm. So wait, are third cousins allowed then? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm okay with brother and sister. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. It's never bothered me. I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't really think you can form, uh, like, a solid argument against it that doesn't rely on religions or something. True. Like, even in my religion, people still married their siblings, and it was okay. So. That doesn't sound like yeah. a religion I know. Wait, Mormons? No. Wait, who? who? Well, trying to figure it out. we used to be allowed to. I'm a Christian, and... We used to be allowed to marry our siblings without problems. I don't see why we're still not allowed to. Or why we're not still allowed to. Hmm. Culture changes. I wasn't aware of that. That there was ever well, allowed. The There's this whole, in the beginning there were two people, and obviously if oh. there were only two people, yeah. there's That's children true. would have to get married. <laughs> That almost seemed to be, like, excused because they considered it to be necessity or something. That's the way I think most people saw it. Like, they really didn't want that to be going on, but they're like, yeah, we're the, we're the last two, so, eh. Well, the only reason other Christians have said it's wrong to me is because possible genetic problems, like being born with a defect. But there have been numerous cases of siblings not knowing their siblings, like long-lost siblings getting married and their children being fine. Yeah, I think that's why you really can't say with sort of a blanket statement that it is immoral or anything like that. On a case-by-case -case basis, it would need to be evaluated. And I think we've just sort of as a society decided that too much of the time it's it turns out bad and therefore we're just going to sort of blanket ban it. Oh my How god, so many gobblers. Conversation? I forgot. Your game. Oh yeah. Yeah, I probably won't have siblings be able to marry each other <laughs> just for the sake of people not freaking out. Who knows? But cousins totally. Sounds like the kind of game that would get uh, attention because of that. True, it could get attention. Hmm. But would it be good attention or bad attention? Um, it depends what you, what uh, your target demographic is. Is it middle-aged men or small children? Or edgy teens? Who knows? Excuse me, I'm not <laughs> edgy. I think it would be a demographic like me, uh, fangirls. <laughs> Middle-aged, edgy fangirls. What? Should we c combine all these Google sites to Alma? Yeah. I'm not a middle-aged edgy You can always, uh, multiply it that way, then. Middle-aged fangirl. No, I'm just a fangirl. I'm not middle-aged, even. I'm barely an adult. Yeah. I'm gonna go with dance, I guess. Okay. Yes, I love that. Please, dear God, save my life. The four terror beast after. Good job. Yeah, those are losing yeah, odds. Are you need? Wait, are you insane? No, I'm not. You need those. Those lights. Why do I get? Why am I getting this horrible dreading feeling that my computer is gonna crash any second now? Um, maybe because you're working it extra hard? I mean, it doesn't matter how hard I work it, it'll crash even when nothing's running sometimes. <laughs> how old is it? It's less than a year. Oh, that doesn't sound right. Are you sure, are you sure there isn't a warranty for it or something? Like a manufacturer warranty. No clue, because my parents love to throw stuff away as soon as we get what's in the box. Oh, hmm. I guess that prevents uh, things from, like boxes from cluttering up your house. 
I told them not to throw it away, but they did anyway, and I don't have room in my room for it. You could flatten it and then like stuff it under your bed. Just my sister the still box. has a bunch of her stuff in my room. My, my room used to be my sister's, so... And you're not allowed to touch it? Um, I mean, I'm allowed to touch it, but if I, like, mess with it, I'll get in trouble. Wait, you can't even lift her mattress up? Uh, what is she hiding under there? There could be, like, a thousand dollars under it. Just, like, a bunch of stuff from her childhood, like, toys. And I'm stuff that she doesn't want me to touch. I'm not gonna have to grab some light bulbs. So there was a rather interesting story about the time when I found a thousand dollars in a jar. Wait, you found a thousand dollars in a jar? Yeah, this was when I was probably about nine. I think, yeah, I think it was about nine when I found it. It turns out it was from a dispute that my parents were having and one of them was hiding money from the other. And they just took this jar, stuffed a thousand dollars in cash in it, and then buried it outside next to a building. Did you keep it? Uh, no, I, I gave it back, but I was a kid, you know, what are you going to do? Damn it, I need to go back in time, find out where you live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can have an interesting childhood. I don't know if finding a thousand dollars was the highlight of it, but... Hello. I remember when I was a little kid, I filled a box with hundreds of pennies. And I buried it in the garden, and I have it. You buried it in the garden? Why? Yep. Because I wanted to bury a pot of treasure, and all I had was a cardboard box and pennies. Ah. Uh, did hey, you ever dig you, it back up? Can you send the light? Can you send the light? I, I never found it again. Like, and there was only like maybe two dollars in pennies, so. Ah. Uh, Not a huge loss. Yeah, that's hardly pocket change. Yeah, it's interesting. It costs more to make the pennies significantly than they're worth. Just don't whack him, okay? Uh, there's a bunny man here, so I might die. Drop your meat. I ate my only meat. Drop, drop the meat you didn't eat. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Drop it like a sack of potatoes. That's an M&M &M reference. Okay. My fresh kill pile is... What are you guys fighting? Slurtles. Oh, it's the reference. Okay. Oh, got a sail. Noise. I'm off to find more tentacles. Oh, yeah. Thanks. A stupid. Hey, Has anybody else traveled through any of these wormholes? And could you tell me where one of them would go? Derpy doesn't have a blueprint for. I have a blueprint for Bruntling Wrap. Uh, so do I. And Liam does. You have a. Yeah, but I mean, that takes the fun out of it. You don't actually have to beat them to figure out where they go to the atrium. Isn't that part of the fun? That's pretty loud. Ooh, that's a lot of experience points. Rude. I think somebody's torturing a dog at your place. At my place? Yeah. Or a child. I was had my fingers crossed here that it was just a dog. Child <laughs> abuse sounds worse. Dog. It's a child. It's like, yeah, it's not that bad, it's just a child. My child. What the f Oh I'm crazy. Oh lovely, I'm <laughs> He's loco. That moment when you don't pay attention and accidentally get yourself killed. Yeah, that happens to me in this.
You do or you don't? I don't know the song. Okay, I'm not crazy. I don't plan on dying until I have someone to inherit my title. So can you put these into um, helms and clubs? Things? Holy crap. I'm gonna die of hunger while I'm at it. I hear someone screaming help. Yeah, child is such a troll. Every time I look to see who it is so I can mute them, they don't do it anymore. Is it Liam? I also it's not me. Okay. Is it a child? about that. Sounds like ASMR phase. ASMR. <laughs> you don't know what Do ASMR know is? Know You're missing out on some terrific memes. Say what you will about FNAF, it still has a better abbreviation than PUBG, in my opinion. What's PUBG? You never heard of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds? Have you heard of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds? Uh, I have now. Okay. <laughs> it's a pretty big game, it's like the number one on Steam, uh, on Twitch or something. So it's not all that rare. I'm just a little bit surprised you haven't heard of it. But yeah, it's a all thing. Right, let's patrol. What the hell? I died again. Or should I say, what the raising hell? <laughs> yeah. You sounded so unamused. You think my name is Punny? I think your name is very Punny. No, it was meant to be a play on words, so. I guess as long as people remember it, it does its job. Now I forget. What worm did, hole did I just jump in oh, from? Starving. My favorite. I mean, what what is this biome even called? There are reeds in it. It's not the splama splagmite biome. Marsh? Is that what the one in the caves? I guess I could call it that, but oof. It's, just hard it's called label. Cave Marsh, I think. Okay. Cave marsh tentacle by swamp tentacle. Sure, they'll forgive you. Thunder Clan's gonna hate us now. We'll, we'll blame it on River Clan. It was totally their fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's totally something you did. Someone. I mean, why on earth would would Leaf Clan be anywhere near Thunder Clan territory? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, sure. Leads to red mushroom biome. Who wants meatball? I 
I have tentacle spikes. Does that count? Damn, I can't just leave my jelly beans here. I have to leave a log? No. They'll leave the tentacle spikes. Oh, I should have actually wrapped my hand bat instead. How do I get out of here? Uh, there it is. There's just too many tentacles, to be honest. <laughs> Can you put jelly beans in the ice box? There's no reason to. They don't uh, spoil. I don't think you can. Oh, this is not good for me. I kind of want to make a different clan in a different area so that there will be raids and it will be more interesting. Okay. Wait, are you playing the free game right now or the other one that's on Steam? The free one. Oh. The, the, one, the one that costs money isn't going to get the make your own colony update until so you've played it out? Pretty much. Best of just log out. There's too many anyway. Be right back. BRB. Okay. You see the bunny? You killed the bunny. Oh, one of the one of the bunnies got attacked by devil. Yeah, this is what I did for Whoa, what? Uh, rip upgrades. Did you die? I think you have to be a super good player to be a good WX. Yeah, WX is different. Because his primary bonus comes from the fact that you don't die over extended periods of time. And if you do, you lose those upgrades. This is chaotic. Uh, no, actually there are too many here for me to kill. I'm just a simple traveler. I guess I could try to pull him away from you. Let's see what happens. I've got a whole bunch of them after me now. Let's see if I can lead them away. I'm disappointed by the lack of new cats. Is the game still in early access? Oh my god. Oh, okay, I got away. I got away. It's away. The careful. paid one or the other one? The old one. I the old one? No. It, it, it was finished when it came out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was pretty rare back in those days to have games come out in early access anyway. Uh-oh, I'm being attacked by two clans from different sides. They both hate you? Yep, and they're on my territory. Yeah, I like the tragic torch skin all of a sudden. Did you complete Metheus? Wait, you can still complete it? Ah, oh, that's the one. It doesn't really matter what it's called at this point. You can still complete those puzzles? One of them you can. As you pointed out, it's like, um... I just considered... I continue to say Metheus, and then people point out that it's no longer available, even though I'm... Eh, like, you can still get the tragic torch from Cyclum, which was basically the reward for Metheus. It's just a slight difference in quality. Yeah, what is it? Loyal instead of timeless, so... I mean, I, I'm technically wrong, but I don't feel like I'm wrong. <laughs> Me all the time. Is it timeless better, though? Yeah. Oh, you found the spider queen, eh? Yep. 
Uh, I lost my jelly beans down there. So. Rip. Lost all of them. I was greedy. I don't need this much armor. Now that I figured out how to not get attacked constantly when fighting the tentacle. It's actually easier than you might think. I just have like 15 shiny things on one piece of moss to try to attract them, mate. It's the cat version of flexing. Shiny things I risked my life to get, not really. All the depth worms are after spider Wow. That could be. My bet's on the depth swarms. Good. I find it easier to deal with Spider Queen. Never mind. Oh, I wonder if Chester got killed by the bees. They're beating him up right now. And he only has... Oh, he still has 440 health left. Uh, probably not then. There we go. Get some of that honey. Why do you bet on the spider queen? Because I want the spider queen to win, at least then I have to do that. I think you have insider information. Yep, the spider queen won. How many were there? Ah, How many spider queens were there? I have literally no health left. <sighs> Doesn't that mean you should be dead? My health bar is completely empty, but that means I have like If I got another head, I'd be dead. Tango Dodo. Time to recover those jelly beans. Wherever I left them. I should say go next, jelly beans. Shootiest should drop an item of itself after it's defeated. 
like the eyeball or what? Like itself. So you wouldn't have to rebuild it at all? Um, because like it's an item when you craft it. Yep. I feel like it should drop that item when it dies. Would that make it too easy? I think I should at least drop the guardian horn. It does seem a little bit rough that it's a one use thing. Because you can't even deconstruct it since it's not. Wait, can you deconstruct it? Is no. it summer done? Is Veran. Huh. I wonder what I did with my jelly beans. I am tempted just to find them. Go next. Jelly bean. Found them. Yay! Wow, I dropped them way back here. That was quite a ways away. Okay, no one brought prey. Did it? Wait, spot for brought prey. Good I thought meat did. For... Liam, I thought meat did dry faster in the summer. It does. And it dries slower when it's raining. Yeah. Okay, more tentacles. Let's do this. It's hardly significant enough to be worth planning things around, though. Like, you're not going to say, well, I'm going to wait until summer to dry all my meat. Cave swamp. Oh, and there's a touchstone here. And... Okay, I cannot do patrols by myself. I need to get other cats. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Another baby tentacle bites the dust. Hot damn. It's a lot of tentacles. I assure you I don't know what you're talking about. Still 400 health left, huh? Let's see here. Weather panes are really useful against the giant tentacles. Is that what you usually use? Yeah, because then it'll catch all the little tentacles that spawn. Yeah. The moment I'm just doing it the good old fashioned way. You get that tentacle spot with 
very regular frequency. I haven't not gotten one yet. I think you get one once a day. Once an in-game day. Really? Hmm. Um, for killing it. And you can get it more than once a day, but it decreases the chance when you... Okay. And whoa, starve to death. Wow. Or was that with the... It was either with the tentacles of Ike or small. I would think it was, it's probably the tentacle spike because I haven't gotten the tentacle spike every single time, but I have gotten the tentacle spot every time. Oh, okay. So where did this one lead? Yeah, I think it led to the marsh. Another shiny thing. I am just loaded. Leads to Marsh. You should be able to rewrite signs. Which boss, Liam? Antline? I should go take out Antline before you can. <laughs> Competitive much? Not really, but... I almost uh, got it done last time, so why not? Bye. You're leaving? Oh, Woe is leaving, okay. I see. I had to mute him after he wouldn't stop mic spamming. I didn't, I mean, I didn't mute him from the server, I just turned his audio off on my end. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind having a good conversation, but if you're just talking to talk, it's rude. Other people might want to have a conversation in that space. Don't have don't starve together ghost mater mater. What brings you here then, out of curiosity? Looks like Josh lost his uh, Super Bowl. I don't even know which side he was on. Wait, did Tom Brady win again? I know that was like a big thing. Because he keeps making, like, he made it to the playoffs more than just about anybody else. I try to find aspects to things that don't initially interest me that can actually hold my attention. It's like, even if I don't care about football, you can still look at things like... Tom Brady continually winning Super Bowls and ask yourself if that's suspicious. Think it's rigged? Nah. Do you regularly watch Don't Starve Ghost Mater? Ghosty Mater? Ghosty Mater? I'm just curious. What brings you around? That moment when there's a cat called Grayfur and it's bright orange. Ironies abound. Reminds me of the one that was like something like dark fur and it was bright yellow. It reminds me of the movie, The Bank Job. Have you ever seen The Bank Job? 
It's basically about, uh, it's based on a historical event, so. It was somebody who robbed the vault in a United Kingdom bank. And they got a hold of the safety deposit boxes, obviously, because that's what they were targeting. And there was, like, mobster information, uh, organized crime. Stuff was stolen, so the, the mob bosses went after the thieves. It's kind of an interesting story. You just like people. You just like seeing people play this game. Nice. I've watched it on Twitch as well. Oh, it looks like they're out of sewing kits. You should uh, wait for the next time it goes on sale. You can get it for like half off at least. Should be possible to save up that much. Don't Starve Together is not an expensive game, and you get two copies. So you might be able to work out a deal with somebody else to cover half of that cost. Just something to keep in mind there. I used to buy Don't Starve Together for friends, and not a single one of them ended up playing with me. Except for one. And then she ended up being a horrible person and stopped being friends. It's too bad. And now you've stopped playing it. I still mod for it, I just don't really play it casually much. If I can get that freaking Pikachu mod to work, that would be amazing. Right now, it's eaters and foot are flying all over the place. And... Um, and it paints a hilarious picture. And it doesn't do anything except for when it catches on fire or is haunted by a ghost. There's some pretty extreme circumstances there. Well, in a way, I can sort of see that being similar to my timeline. Uh, I played Stronghold Kingdoms a lot, and then eventually I just moved into m the moderating and content creation space for that. And I really didn't play it much, like seriously anymore. More played it to help others learn it. Or uh, to advise the developers as to what people are saying about their game. I think every community sort of has figures that are out of touch with it. And that would include myself, I would say. Mistake of deciding for my sociology class. We have to write a paper about subcultures. I made the mistake of deciding to write about the Don't Starve subculture. How's that <laughs> going for you? Fun. Well, he hasn't approved it yet. It isn't going to get approved till the fifth if he does decide to approve it. If not, I'm going to go for something like I don't know. Uh, Maybe my Minecraft server's culture. Wait, why would he approve the Minecraft but not the Don't Starve one, out of curiosity? No clue. Because <laughs> they seem to be in similar uh, venues, for lack of a better word. Well, I mean, I might as well try, even if chances of them accepting it are low. Because honestly, I don't really have much subculture other than gaming. You're afraid that they that your professor will turn down gaming as a subculture or just don't starve specifically? Well, gaming isn't... or gaming is too broad. He wants it to be more specific. Sure. So how's it going so far? Well, considering he said that he's let a kid, let somebody write a paper about bronies as a subculture, I'm pretty sure he's gonna accept the Don't Star one. <laughs> yeah, sounds promising. Don't hate me, bunnies.
I'm putting this ham bat back around here if anybody needs it. Cloudtail and Thornclaw are way too weak to keep fighting. Liverpool is totally not named after a place in England. I was just thinking about that. It's like we don't have any honey left. One of the things that I always thought would be cool is if um, people actually used this time, like the time they spend playing games, to learn another language. Because you have a real opportunity to just talk about stuff like that while playing. I didn't know bees would automatically gravitate, gravitate towards fireflies. I do want to um, eventually learn Portuguese. What, uh, what language are you taking in school? Um, I haven't taken one, so... It's not required? Well, I didn't go to a traditional high school. And... Um... I didn't go to a traditional high school, and I don't have to take one for college, but I want to take Portuguese. Are you so sure? Because my college offers it. Oh. What motiva motivated you to choose that one? Uh, Portuguese is a common language in the Don't Starve community, and the modern community especially. Oh, I didn't know that. Along with Russian and Chinese. Oh, I've seen the Chinese, yeah. A lot of Chinese mods have cropped up. But Chinese is... it's difficult. Go from Coming English. Yeah, maybe I should have been born in China. That way I could have learned English instead. I would have been born in China. Then again, I haven't... I don't know if that's still a thing or they don't... I don't, I don't the want one to child racist. thing? Well, I, I was... I learned that they, like, get rid of their female children. I don't know if that's still a thing or if it ever was in the first place. Um, yeah, I mean, it happened, but it wasn't as big an issue as I think some other Western countries try to portray it as. Because, you know, there's also, uh. inf like, bias there. Like, people are against China because it's a communist uh, society. So, like, you're on the lookout to find anything you can say that you say, Oh, look, look at this terrible country. They're doing this, and you make it sound worse than it is. Because if you look at the actual demographics, yes, there are a lot more men in the country than there are women. Uh, but it's not its not unmanageably different. Uh, they, they're they're going to have a slight problem because of it, but it's not huge. And they also stopped that policy back in 2014 or something. So, awesome. So, yeah, now you can... I don't know if it's... If it, they just increased the limit, or if they got rid of it entirely, but yeah, you're no longer limited to one child. There are millions of women missing because of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. But isn't it something like uh, 56 to 46 or something? It's like a 10% difference, I think. Which I suppose when you take a look at millions of people, it can uh, affect a lot of lives quite significantly. But at the same time, 
You're not always just limited to that one country. I understand they have much harsher restrictions on getting in and getting out, but it's not an insignificant topic whatsoever. Please don't try to minimize it. Um, I'm not sure I'm minimizing it. I'm just saying I think some people overly demonize because of it, or because of the culture they were raised in. But, yeah, it's just my opinion. It's, ba it's a, a, an opinion formed based off of information that I've read. So if uh, new information comes to light, I'm certainly open to adjusting it uh, in a line, to align with that new and found information. Let's see here, more tentacles. <sighs> There's so many of them. So many to try. Let's do this one. You're suggesting it's not a big deal. Um, I'm saying that I think it's been focused on more than it should be. I'm trying to think of a good analogy for this. Information from what sources? Um, it's been a while since I read about... I mean, I would like to say Wikipedia, but I can't be sure. Wikipedia is like my first stop, obviously. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I couldn't tell you the sources that Wikipedia cited. But I have a feeling that was where I was reading about it. But then, you know, you also can read opinion pieces and whatnot on it. But they don't let you cite the Wikipedia itself. Um, but you can actually take a look at the resources that Wikipedia is citing. So I'm not saying Wikipedia is a good source in and of itself, but you have to take a look at the citations that Wikipedia uses. And I couldn't tell you off the top of my head because I just usually read Wikipedia. I usually don't have to follow the sources because in general the site is pretty well uh, cited. Like if it's a topic that I need very in-depth information that I absolutely must understand the fundamentals, then sure. But otherwise, you can get by with it. You know, there is such a thing as good enough. I can't master everything. I can't learn everything that the world has to master. It's uh, it's humanly impossible. So you have to take some things on faith. You have to be able to trust. And in general, I trust Wikipedia. So, And it's also possible that I came away with the wrong impression based off the article. I'm not saying otherwise. But I'm telling you, that was the opinion that informed my worldview, and I did my best to elaborate on why that was. It's not intended to be malicious, and it is not closed-minded. Oh, get Josh who's back from the game. And it looks like I have some... some bunnies? How did the game go? Which side were you on? So, Tom Brady? I've just been fighting tentacles for the most part. I learned how to stream on Twitch. I have a feeling I'm not gonna do it very often. I thought you were yeah. watching football.
Okay, this time I just got a tentacle spike. But no spot. And it's been more than a day. Yeah, I was watching football and all, but let's say at certain points it wasn't really that interesting due to the commercials. So. Mm. Yeah, that's true. How bad were the commercials? Um, there weren't any, like, really wacko ones, but there still were some somewhat silly Oh, the commercials during the Super Bowl are a pretty big thing. For some reason, I remember that this one specific point where the TV just went, like, blank. For, like, almost a half a minute or so, the TV was just blank. That could go either very good or very bad, I suppose. <laughs> Like, on one hand, that, that's an attention grabber, isn't well, I'm it? I'm guessing maybe somebody's ad got skipped out or something like that. Oh, there was no promotional information at all for it? Uh, no, it was just the black screen, almost like the TV was turned off. Yeah, it does sound like it then. skeleton which yeah. which oh the animated one I yeah. rebuilt it down at the bottom of the base uh, I mean the base in the caves oh no we didn't fight it okay. mostly because we didn't have I mean Liam was here. Oh, Liam is still here. Um, PSI, of course, was... Oh, there's a... Maxwell. Holy crap. What is it? I have a tricky situation here, Liam. It's tricky. There, there are like multiple firehounds by the bee boxes that got frozen. Oh. I forgot we had a map. So I went and got to the fan for nothing. Whatever, it's still good for the cube. At the moment, I'm following these tentacle uh, holes in hopes of finding the atrium, but no luck so far. Do you have to go through a tentacle hole to find it? Yeah. Dang, how do you get a bunch of people in there then? I mean, once you open it up, everybody can jump through it. It's a wormhole. But doesn't it, this, doesn't the tentacle respawn? After a while, but it, it stays open for a lot, enough time to yeah, let an entire team through. They are ready, it wouldn't be a problem. Hey, look at that, the beefalo actually got fully tamed, like, like, at the tame point, and then the salt licks broke, and now it's down to tamed 40%. So after you worked, all day yesterday on it. It's yeah, down to forty percent. Twenty because the salt licks died. So therefore it was just somewhat neglected with nothing to eat. Hello, Cole High. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Yeah, I, I guess maybe you forgot yesterday that you had a game to watch today. I guess I could have put another Salt Lake in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Or Liam could have. It was more his project than it was mine. 
Yeah, I remember the qualifant. Is that the reason why it went down so quickly? Probably, because someone decided to put it in there while they were... What's it called? Oh, Beefalo, go back in. I left my gate open and now he's just wandering out. I might have to ask Liam to give me a hint. Because apparently he has a client mod installed that tells him where all the wormholes go. Okay. Can you see the one that goes to the Shadow Atrium? Liam, just out of curiosity. Uh, like, don't oh. tell me, but let me know if you can Why see it. Back to the Salt Lake. Don't go to sleep there. Oh my god. Oh, it only works when you go through it? Okay, so you don't have it. Oh, I misunderstood what the mod did. If you Google the issue, they gauge more than 100 million women are missing. It's not a lot of human beings who are being murdered for the crime of being born. Yeah. Uh, more than all de deaths in World War One and World War II combined. I don't know the exact numbers of um, infants that were terminated early because of it. So, What you should do is just like link me to what you would consider to be a credible source on the subject. Because, like, anybody can say anything on the internet. Oh. So, did anything phenomenal get done at all? Or is it just people just hung out uh, for, like, a couple hours? I'm trying to remember. I didn't kill any bosses. I was... I don't know, Liam said he was going to kill something, but he wouldn't tell us what it was. Did you end up doing it, Liam? Oh, you're working in the Bee Queen, aren't you? You're setting that fence up again. Think you can beat it without Wolfgang? It's an interesting proposition. Oh, you said you were getting it ready for the... Okay. Yeah, I misread that a bit. Guess I assumed you were doing it without us. Okay, good night, Liam. Thanks for stopping by and playing. Good night, Liam. No, we haven't. It's been, uh... Pretty much goofing around the th up until this point, to be honest. What sucks? Is that I just technically missed out on this whole section. The Super Bowl. I mean, you got another 45 minutes, maybe? Earthquakes are also much, uh, much more dizzying, I guess, with the shake, the screen shake enabled. Oh, I found it. You found what? Loot. Found the shadow atrium. Oh. Uh, Yay. Found the whereabouts. Yeah. Like. It's the one in the blue mushroom forest biome. The one that's like right next to the entrance here? Let me check. No, it's, wait, it is? It was literally that close. Yeah, yeah, it out. is. It, it was that I one. I can't believe it. I think there are some tentacle spots you missed and again, this stream is a bit behind. You mean that one right? Yeah, as I popped out, there was one. 
Let's see here. Uh, I guess I'll just throw it in the tentacle hole. I'm not gonna feed the twigs in there one at a time. Ornate chest. Examine ancient mural. Nice. Cool, at least I got the last gift. Uh, it's not banging. You got your last gift this week? Yeah. I got two on Thursday, one yesterday or so, and the last one today. Yeah, I could say we're preparing for it. I don't think there's like a official consensus on what we're doing at the moment. But I at least wanted to locate it so we could prepare. Oh my god, this looks like a dead end. A lot of spiders. Yeah, it was a dead end. Grit is our wolf gang, but he's not here. Yeah, our pacifist wolf gang. <laughs> the best kind of wolf gang. He knows how to stand back and let others have the glory. Unless he's absolutely needed. Nightmare amulet so that you could pass through the thingies? No. I, I wasn't actually expecting to find it because I unsuccessfully looked for the last uh, three, four days at this point. Mm. But now that I'm here, I figured I might as well explore what I can um, just make sure that I know where to go and whatnot. Like, there are like those specific obelisks that you need to be like insane to pass. I, I think I'm on them. Oh, wait, maybe not. Okay, that's a bishop. Might actually need some... Ah, I suppose not. How much armor do I have? No, that's my last armor. I better... I better go back and resupply here a bit. I was not actually equipped to clear this out. And my lantern's getting a little bit low. Oh, I have two lanterns. Ah, I suppose it's not a problem. But does anybody want to help, uh, come down here and... I'm all that's left. Are you? Yep. Oh, wow, it's just us. You and me. The edgy Wendy. And your friend Steve. I mean, Osong. <laughs> yeah, you're in Discord. And then I think there aren't any more battle homes either, unless they're over in the scout chest over here. Grabbing the tentacle spot. Yeah. Well, at least it's really close to the base. Like, we have a pretty quick uh, trip to get there. Yeah, I'm guessing the cave entrance that set up is, like, probably one of the best ones. Yeah. I have to go up and get some more armor. Okay. Just seeing if there's anything else I need. Is it still summer up there? Yes. Because huh. I have enough weapons here. And enough healing, I just need the additional armor. Oh no. 
It's gonna rip my base. Gotta get out. What? What's happening? The ant lion is attacking. Whew, that was close. Damn it. I heard a lot. Maybe we should do ant lion instead. Sometimes. Okay. Let's focus on the runes then. Especially since I just got a monster haul of 23 blue caps. Nice. I wonder where I got all these twigs from. I don't remember picking them up. Dang. Is actually ever gonna add like an end game to this? You mean aside from the events? Yeah, like, like, do you know how in the first don't start there, like the chapter thing before the confrontation with Maxwell? Sure. Do you, think, do you think they're ever gonna add something like that to this? I don't see any real reason they need to end it. Don't Starve Together well, is part two of Don't Starve. It's more like to just end the story in the way, a proper, a proper ending to the story. But a good story never ends. If they can... Okay. If they can keep it going for another ten years, it'll pay Honestly, off in spades. Though, how, how far do you think they could go before it's like... The story is now super convoluted, in a way. I think it's already pretty convoluted, so I wouldn't worry about it. That seems to be right up Clay's alley. They're not afraid. They don't shy away from convoluted storylines. Like, uh, like, what percentage of their overall player base do you think even experiences the ending game content at all? I would imagine less than 1%. Cause like every so often I'd like to watch like a YouTube video that like explains the lore of the game since it's stuff. And now almost all of those videos have like are like obsolete obsolete and I can't talk due to the fact that somehow now they have to tie the forge into it and how that connects in a way. Yeah, but aren't you talking more like fan theories than actual lore that was revealed? I don't know. I just think that it'd be cool if they added like somewhat of a end game so that there would actually be like a purpose for playing it. Right now it's just a sort of survive, but yeah, it'd be cool if there was like an uh, an actual purpose other than the purpose is to play the game to play the game. So you're looking for a little bit more of a narrative drive to the game. Yeah. I don't personally, I have no problem with games being driven more by their mechanics than their actual narratives. They yeah, get... This shit that bugs me, especially since how much they've been hinting at it in like the animations and stuff. Hmm. Like at the end of the... Uh, Forge trailer, it shows Charlie, like, shutting off, like, a specific thing. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're done developing more lore to it, the game, but... I know, but, like... The right and an official out. ending, I just don't think that really does anything for them. Like, how would they benefit from that? I don't know. It's just messing with my curiosity, because I want to see what happens next, in a way. Uh.
Was Grid also watching the game today? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been in any contact with Grid at all today. Because he didn't show either. Maybe. I just wanted to top off my sanity here. Okay. I know this is one of the worst ways to do it, but I'm okay with that. Oh boy. What? Slam down a bunch of candy. Yeah. My unhealthy habits. It does take a long time to make taffy. Are you ready to go at the moment? Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to cook up some of these blue mushrooms that are literally just about to spoil because I found them in the fridge. Wow, well, we're out of uh, wood again, aren't we? It's the last thing I need. Oh, it's actually a new moon. We could fight the shadow chess pieces again. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Yeah, probably not. There's not a whole lot of reason to right now, anyway. Okay, I see some I mean, logs I here. Really, I don't really see any reason to do it anyway, it's because I'm pretty sure after, unless it's the ancient weaver, if we just fight the reanimated skeleton, he'll drop the eighth, uh, the heart thing. He dies. But we need the, we need the heart to reanimate the skeleton. But the thing is, when we when we reanimate it and then we kill it, he'll just drop another one, unless yeah. it's the fuel weaver. Yeah, there's no reason to fight it again, uh, the chest pieces, the second time. Then. Yeah. Except unless for the fun of it. Unless you lose the atrium. I'm gonna head off for the night, toodles. Thanks for stopping by. Good night. Still got another 30 minutes. Thirty minutes or so before I need to head off. I just needed to grab some logs here. Okay. I thought Liam had logged an entire forest, but I looked around and I didn't see any logs really. Okay. It's something yeah, we have something we're a bit low on. Oh, is there some over there? Any luck? Two wooden nope. doors. Okay. Well, I have a couple of emergency log suits here as well. There's a 100% one. Let's see if I can organize this a little bit. My inventory is a little bit of a mess right now. Hot, 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 hot. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna need another log suit. And that's 9%, so I'm not using that. I have enough here for a couple more, so I should be fine. Okay, let's do it. Get 24 light bulbs, oh. 4 meatballs, and 23 blue mushrooms. Did you bring the amulet? Yeah, I got the... I got a life amulet and the nightmare. Okay. Amulet. You want me to bring one? Bring one what? A nightmare amulet. Uh, we only have one, but I bet you it would be easy to just make another if we have one. Okay. Is the tentacle back by now? We might have to fight it again. No, no, I didn't. 
Okay. No, it's not. That <laughs> spoke too soon. Okay. You're gonna wanna change sides there a little bit. Gosh. There we go. Yep. It's not pretty, but it's real. Heading down. There's like not even a sound. Just... I don't have like a pick line. Dang it. You don't have a pick? Yeah, I don't have uh I don't have gold or anything either. Oh well, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, do you have the map by any chance? Or I think I'm the only one who mapped it out. Okay. Check the back here. No, no, you can take a look if you want. We'll say fragments and a 51 football helmet. I wasn't expecting a whole lot from it, but okay. Oh, not now. What the hell? Depth worms. Uh, I don't think we can fight these. Damn it. Why didn't I have my armor on? I'm actually gonna get out of here because we can't fight them. Yeah. No, I don't think we can. There's not just not enough space here. Or are they not allowed to spawn in here? I didn't know. I don't see them though. Oh, yep, there's one. If it's just one, we can do this easy. Oh. Wait, come into the light. Can't move. Ah. Why isn't it dead? I'm surprised. One more hit, there we go. Do you have any light bulbs by any chance? 22. Okay, I might need a few. Can you give me like five? Thanks. Oh, I, what? I'm eating them, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Uh, you know if you walk on the edge of the spider webs, it won't spawn the spiders, right? Wait, come over here. Okay. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, I have to be wearing it. Um, I was gonna give you your light bulbs back. Uh, back away, back away. That's why I was. That's why I was planning on getting one. Um, did you pick up my paper? Oh no, here it is. I found it. Never mind. Back, back over here. Just a second. I wanted to grab my bundling wrap again. Yeah. I need to bundle my pierogies up. Okay. What's up? Okay. So you're gonna put put that nightmare amulet on to be able to pass through the these obelisks and then take it off to pass through the next wall because 
the second role requires you to be the same. I got food. And I'll put it put it back on so I can get out. Uh. I can't pass through that second wall since I don't have anything to fix my sanity. So I'll just explore off in this direction. It's just a chest over here. I doubt there's anything interesting I'll in pick, it. Pick slash axe with 48%. No, I guess. For shame. Are the bishops shooting at you? There are like four bishops. Yeah, I know. Are you are you good to go together? What? So are you good if we go in together? Yeah, I got blue mushrooms. Okay. Uh, let's try this then. I probably should have unwrapped my pierogies, but okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. This is very bad for me. I have the wrong armor for this. Can you help me over here? Oh, you're fighting shadow creatures? Okay, I've got it. In fact, there it is. That's actually what we were looking for. Yeah. It's a gateway. Carry much more though. Come on. Should I help you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. okay. There is still more that we can go through here. If you're it's just um insane, so I can't pass through. How did you go so insane? Because I've been eating the blue mushrooms. Oh, alive. right. So, next time we come down here, we're going to have to pack plenty of blue mushrooms and green mushrooms so that we can recover our sanity as fast as we can go. Do you want to go back up then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this should be relatively easy enough. Just grab some... Faces are changing now too. Sure. I mean, I, maybe I can just do this myself then. I'll see what's up. Come over there. Well, maybe we'll just go together then. All right. Well, I have a snow day. You have a what? Snow day. I don't know. 
where you are. So I can stay up past my bedtime. Yay. Oh, okay. That's what a snow day is. I'm staying up past my bedtime. I'm, I'm an absolute madman. Uh, we found the atrium. I don't know if you heard. Did you explore it? Uh, we found the um, portal, but there's still more to the atrium itself that we can explore. Oh, you invited friends, I see. <laughs> that way is a dead end anyways. Or it had a chest that just had one red gem in it. Okay, I was going to go Wait. back to the tentacle. I thought you wanted to do that. Did you? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We could actually fight maybe the ancient fuel weaver now. I have a lot of, like, bundling wraps with healing items and sanity items. What's the tool that we need? Oh, I um, guess it's just need, the key. Uh, the key, uh, a fossil, and the heart. Well, technically we can do it now. It's more of the case that we shouldn't. Like, we should wait for other people so that more people get to experience this in a yeah, way. Yeah, you're right. Do it. Well, in that case, I'll just get more practices. Okay. Rest in peace, Battle Helm. Yeah, we do take a bit of a beating, but. Damn it. Let me jump into the abyss. Uh, we could actually finish clearing out the uh, atrium then, instead, if you want. Josh had to come back because he was too crazy. So, maybe a better method of healing might be... Called for? Yeah. So then I can just use a nightmare amulet instead and not forcibly make myself insane. Just plop that on for a second, run through, and take it off. Yeah. And then just use green mushrooms to restore any sanity. Yeah, if you get cooked green mushrooms, you can offset the healing you do with the bones. Or not even green mushrooms, the cacti work as well. Oh, god dang it. You had meat? Away. What happened? Yeah, I had meatballs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's oh, see here. There. Just went stale now. Oh. Uh, we also wanted to get uh, some mining tools. Yeah, because technically just mining those statues is like extra fuel to fight. That was weird. Has anyone fought the toadstool? Uh, no, we haven't yet. Then how did we get the. I know I saw the warts, whatever they're called. Uh, from Gloss. Oh, I see. Shrooms too. Yeah. I'd say the hardest problem we have at the moment is just getting a, a reliable group of people together as a team for these boss battles. Even the Bee Queen. A lot of times we only have three people. And... I'd say we need at least four people for the into fuel wheel. Did you say you picked up all the um, cactus? Pick, what do you mean by pick them up? Are the are the cactus in the desert all picked at this point? Yeah, but they grow back. I was just wondering if it was no, worth no.
Oh, I forgot. I forgot my I fan. I killed my family to the absolute shit, but at least I was able to fully heal using that bat bat. That's one so, way to do it. Let's just say it's got its perks. Trash, please feed your pet. Here, eat a light bulb. Okay, looks like the shadow creature doesn't want me to feed it. I tried. Okay, here's a fan. Go back to the super crazy hole. There's also the ant line if anybody wants to run over there and do that instead. Well, I'm no longer a wolf gang, so. I mean, I can do it as Wicker Bottom. So if two of us go over there, it'll be easy peasy. I might as well, and I can get more cactus. I'm no longer a Do you want to head over there now? Is there any? Oh, there are cacti left over here. So at the moment, I'm doing that. Just leave. Leave uh, base. In line attack. Are you going over to the ant line right now? Yeah. Odd how a normal Glowberry heals a weapon. It's just a bit of an off number. Don't you think? Maybe. I suppose compared to prepared foods it is. Yeah, I'm just looking at the normal Glowberry. Does hunger 25, sanity minus 10, and health plus 11. Mm -hmm. This feels like that plus 11 is the number out of nowhere. Okay, I'm heading over to the ant line as well. I'm going. We'll get this out of the way before summer ends. Nice. I like to over prepare for boss battles. I agree. It's a habit, but it's also a, it's a habit worth having. Does anybody have a thermal stone? I do, but uh, actually, I think I died at the desert, and I never picked up my thermal stone. Like, so I, there were like five of them that were just up on the furnace. Okay. Oh, this is the wrong desert. Damn. But there should be some spares over at the desert, remember? No, you're in you're in the right desert. No, I'm not quite. The expedition went through all my battle domes. I went in there with like four battle domes. I come out with one on oh. 31 percent. That was mostly the tentacles, wasn't it? Yeah, but those bishops did put a number on them, too. Because hmm. really, the tentacles only did, like, one durability each use due to the fact that they probably don't even hit that hard to begin with. Uh, I'm not bringing any log suits. That's okay. Wait, do you need log suits? Well, yes, because you have to wear the goggles to see. I'm okay. But if other people didn't have log suits, log suits are nothing. maybe I'll just do it then. 135. It's a bit of a waste, but I'm doing that. Need a regular one here.
Okay. What else do I need? I need goggles. Goggles, lock suit, weapon, healing. Yeah. Thermal stone. I'm just monks in here. I can quickly make a suit. Okay, there should be enough log suits here. Just need to unwrap my pierogies. Oh wait, maybe I don't. I don't know. I want to have a few on me. Uh, and then I'm taking a thermal stone. I got one. Okay. Can you give him a thermal stone? Yeah. Wait, do you have a fan? No. Okay, then I'll use the fan. Mm -hmm. As soon as it's daytime, we'll head out. Okay. Let me chill here a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm feeding. So close, here we go. There we go. Nice. Didn't need a single pierogi as it turns out. Oh, I mean I ate two now, but Thank God I made those salad. The salad. You used the salad? I used them all. Oh. Good. Went quite well. Just gotta pick up some of my stuff that I left over here. get more from this desert. I don't I don't have the cooling equipment for the body. We actually should make one. But then again the summer frost is not as useful as the one that spoils, so uh, I guess I'll just stick with what I have here. Is Josh still here? I haven't heard from him in a yeah. while. What are you up to? Is he muted? Oh, okay. Qualifying hunting. And stupidly just made myself insane again. How? Because I summoned Abby with it. <laughs> ah. Excuse me. Unintended consequences. I just, it like just makes the salads for. For the next fight. I just like to keep forgetting that she takes 50 sanity. 
Yeah. Yeah, there's still a knight head over here to carry over to one of the chest piece statues. I'm grabbing the cacti over here in the dragonfly desert. Okay. I can make a bunch of salads for the next fight. Okay. You can always grab some lichen down below to extend those uh, flowers. Because it's also a vegetable. It's like three lichen and one cactus flower we'll go pretty far okay I think I got them all I probably should bundle them up because it's a ways back uh, maybe not I don't have any room anyway get rid of this Cactus flash. I could eat the cactus flash. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. It's pretty low. Need a refill here. Flingo is almost out of fuel once again. Hmm. Abigail, come back. I need to see. <laughs> huh. I didn't know that. Drop it. There we go. Oh. Wrong lantern pile. Oh, this one's empty too. Are there any that are still full? Okay, there's one. And with that, my sanity is back up to max. Yeah. I'm the only one here who can't sleep. But we do need more wood now. I think we're completely out. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna call it a night for this. It's, uh, it's late enough, so yeah. All right. So thanks to everybody who came out and watched the stream. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at roughly the same time.